Thank you, know Mel B's turbulent story. Well, think again, because the Spice Girl has saved some of her most startling revelations for ET. And these are unbelievable. Nichelle Turner scored the first American interview with Mel B about her tell-all book, and it is shocking. Nichelle is standing by in London. I gotta ask, were you surprised by what you heard? I was surprised by a lot of the things that Mel revealed to me. I didn't know how extreme the drug abuse had gotten. Now, she says she used it as a way to cope with an abusive husband. You said you were doing up to six lines of coke a day when you were at X Factor. Well, it's one of the things through. I said. There's many other things. That I <laughs> but and it's a symptom think... of what I was dealing with, how things affect you, how you cope. Mel B says she hit an emotional rock bottom during her tumultuous 10-year marriage to Stefan Belafonte. She claims he abused her, but she lied about it to protect their image. You called yourself a pathetic liar. Yeah, because I was. Yeah. But I was also really good at it because that's what you, you have to do. Because you don't want anybody intruding in your perfect marriage. You don't want anybody uncovering or unveiling what is, what's happening or what has happened. He has denied her claims and they divorced earlier this year. Meanwhile, you might be surprised who Mel calls the love of her life. Can we talk about Eddie? Yeah. In her new memoir, Brutally Honest, Mel says she and Eddie Murphy dated for nine months in 2006 and plan to get married. They have an 11-year-old daughter. You still love him? Yeah, I always will. Are you still in love with him? No, he has a, a lady and he's that got a new baby he has. and I'm angels at his house you. right now. No, I think that's very unfair for me to talk like that because yeah. he's in a committed relationship. He's got on his second baby with this lovely lady. Mm -hmm. And my daughter's there right now. She just spent Thanksgiving with him. I She's love that. there. Next up for Mel, the Spice Girls 2019 tour. You know there's a lot of celebrities that are going nutso about you guys getting back together. And since Victoria's out, maybe there could be like a celebrity fan stepping. Adele is red tea for y'all to get back on stage. Emma Stone, Chrissy Teigen, all they are like losing their minds. Can that happen? And I'm just gonna say, yes, of course it can happen. We have to check it with the other girls first. I think that's a great idea. And in fact, we're having a creative meeting next week. We want our fans to know that, that this is going to be like a celebration and we're going to go back in time. And that is what we want, what we really, really want. <laughs> now, Melanie told me that she's very relieved that the tour is selling so well, but of course it's selling well. You're the Spice Girls. And her book is about to do the same thing. It is skyrocketing up the charts already. And she told me that she not only wrote this book for her, but for all women, Nance. Back to you. Well, hopefully it'll help some others. Michelle, thank you very much.